Now, which is the father and which are the sons? <laughs> just, just point that out to me. That's usually away. his joke. That old joke again, yeah. You all go to the same hairdresser, I see, as well. Yeah, it's actually family haircuts in the yeah. family home, actually. <laughs> now, whose idea was it to put all the family videos rolling in the background because that's what got us all going I mean singing as well but those family pictures are just so lovely that's Philip is that you Philip it, it seemed a really natural natural fit and we've we've been lucky that our dad's filmed about 70 hours over 30 years of us and we've got them all on DVD um, so we uh, had a good bank holiday sitting through all of those picking we were all going like, no ones. don't put that bit of me my hair looks awful yeah. no, <laughs> <Fighting. that. laughs> to be honest it's probably when we're at our cutest uh, now we're obviously a little bit uglier and older not at all oh, no, i thought you had a very good look i thought their whole image was very good yeah well the thing is yeah when you when you think about you know is donny osman and all that sort of stuff there's no sort of British family, is there? Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. So I think you the can Nolans. feel that space. Nolans, but girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. indeed, yeah, but I think these guys, yeah, there's they... something there that I think we haven't seen on the show. Hence why I think you've got all of those reactions from the judges. What are you going to see on Sunday? I won't give up Jason Mraz, Jason but our Mraz. own version of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And do you decide that, Dad, or is this a family decision? That's a family decision, I think. Phil came up with an idea and then we... We, he persuaded um, us. Could, could I just say, Dan and James, do you ever have any ideas? It seems to me Phil has all the ideas <laughs> in, this, in this family. He's the, he's the youngest, but he likes to be the leader. So, yeah, he does try and drive it. But, uh, no, we, we, do, we do all have our fair share, um, and we all sort of say our piece. And, yeah. Laurie, you know, we, we heard your, your story, and you'd had a heart attack. And yeah. How special is this? How much does this mean to you to be with your boys up there singing on the final? Everything. Um, they've made it possible. Um, and we weren't there because of the heart attack, really. We were there because I changed my life after I'd had that mm. um, and went into singing, and they knew I really wanted to do this. And you I went mean, into singing from what? What did you leave behind? What did I leave behind? Um, 70 hours a week, working weekends. Doing and what? Working uh, in, in my job. Which was? Uh, as a lawyer. As a lawyer, <laughs> yeah. right. Right, so right. he still does. Dad still works as a lawyer, but um, but he decided to sort of get a better work-life balance. Mm. That's what yeah. the heart attack mm. meant to him, and, and made him change the way he lived his life. And the best decision you ever made well, in your life. You know, out of adversity comes change, and sometimes change is for the best. And I think definitely that's what it is. Yeah. What is the big dream for you guys? What would you love to happen from this, apart from obviously winning? Mm. I think mm -hmm. families never won Britain's Got Talent, so we'd love to be the first family to do that, perform in front of the royal family as a family, be incredible. Um, but we, we have let ourselves dream, and this Dad always gives us the credit and says, oh, it's thanks to the boys, but we're not doing this for our dad now. Like, we are doing, <laughs> it, for, we're doing it for all of us. Yeah. Well, um, good luck we, to we you. We really want this Good luck to you. That's the Nils. Thank you very much, Thank you.